The GTA 6 trailer, we've all seen it in all of its absolute beauty, but what we're going to be diving into today is all of the characters and where the inspiration comes from for these characters and the locations, because we've all seen these locations. They look incredible, but they are based off of real places. Just like GTA 5 is based off of LA and California, GTA 6 is based off of Florida, with the main city being Miami. So let's start off with the most obvious, Florida Man. We all know the story behind Florida Man. If you don't know, let me show you. So the story of Florida Man is this. If you go into Google and type in Florida Man and then your birthday, you'll see what pops up and you can post it. So for me, my birthday is July 24th. So you can see right here, Florida Man, July 24th. What pops up? Florida Man shows off gun, accidentally shoots himself. Next one, Florida Man indicted after trying to cross the Atlantic. Oh, this is it. I remember this one. The homemade hamster wheel. So he tried crossing the Atlantic in a hamster wheel. And then another one, Florida Man serves up hot dog lunch for alligators. So hopefully that helps you understand the meme. The thing is with Flo Florida is just, there is so many funny things you can do with Florida. The Florida Man thing helps out tremendously. It's just because of the way that their laws are. They publish everything where a lot of states don't. So you can just type in Florida Man and then a date and it'll show you the most ridiculous things, just like a man serving uh, alligators some hot dogs for lunch. And this is a perfect example from the trailer. You can see here, Florida Man does yard work naked. Now, this specific one is actually taken from a real-life news story, and we're going to get to those here in a little bit because someone shared them, and there's literally like 10 different things showing you the real-life version, at, well, where the inspiration came from, and it in game we're going to be getting to that here in a second and also pause this right here you cannot tell me that this isn't based off of jeff bezos i mean it's uncanny this is 100 percent jeff bezos and you can't tell me any different you know what since we're talking about florida man and doing his yard work naked and talking about the similarities let's just jump into this little section right here showing you where the inspiration came from for all of these iconic clips in the trailer. So I'm sure we all laughed at this part right here. We have an alligator walking through a store, but did you know this was based off a real news story of an alligator walking into a Walmart? I just wanted to give a shout out to Moore's Mutual Insurance over on Twitter uh, for putting all of this together, all of these clips of the similarities. I'll leave his channel linked in the description, so make sure you check it out. So next up, we have this gentleman right here, and I didn't understand, I can't read Spanish, unfortunately, so I didn't know originally, but what this says down here in English, it says confession written in tattoo ink a tattoo on his neck that gave himself away key to conviction of leonida man or is it leonida do we know yet how to pronounce this florida leonida or florida leonida i feel like florida leonida Leonida. Let me know if you guys know how to pronounce this, or is it just a made-up word? Now, there's three things for this one. First of all, a lot of people think this is based off of Jared Leto's Joker, but technically, the original may have been based off of Jared Leto's Joker, but this is actually based off of, again, a real news story. So as you can see it playing right here in the background, there is the real one, and underneath is the one from GTA. Something else, if we zoom in on that crest, the, the police badge, you can see that the badge itself, the picture in the middle, you can see it looks like a flipped version of the Florida actual state seal. In the Florida state seal, you have a Seminoles woman. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Apologies if it's not. Uh, spreading flowers with a palm tree behind her and a sailing boat. And then obviously, as we can see here in the GTA one, the image is flipped. We have the same palm tree behind it. It looks like we have a yacht in the background instead of a sailing boat. And we have a snake coming out of the tree. And here's the Florida man one we were talking about. Florida man does yard work naked. This is based off of a real story of a real Florida man doing yard work naked. At least for our sake, they had him in a thong in the trailer. That's all I'm saying. And then we have this clip right here from the GTA trailer. It says, stay alert, Vice City. Remember to check for uninvited guests before the pool party. Again, based off of a real Fox 13 news segment. Let's take a look. <laughs> I'm glad that they're finding just these viral Florida man and things that have... Florida's a wild bloody place, man. Absolutely wild. Like this next one. Let's move to it. So this, which got a lot of attention in the trailer, we have the woman twerking on top of a car, which is based off of a real video. Believe it or not, let's take a look. So as you can see right here, the comparison between the two. I've seen the original one. I tried explaining it when I was doing the reaction trailer the first time, but I couldn't remember where I'd seen it. But it is this video right here. Like... There's so many... Florida, what are you doing down there, man? And then last but not least, we have this iconic clip right here. Usually, you got to hit the strip club uh, to see Jiggle like that. <laughs> 
I have my second channel. I have a fitness journey going on, and I joked that that's a real life shot of me doing my fitness. But no, this is actually based off of a real story too. I had no idea. Let's take a little look at this. This is um, again from Wars Mutual. Thanks for putting these things together. Uh, but I had no idea this was based off of a real thing. What is happening in Florida? I almost forgot about this one too. When I saw this trailer, I, I wasn't familiar with this situation, but this woman dual wielding hammers. Uh, but it is based off of a real news story as well. A racist Karen. So we are... <laughs> they thought of it. They've got everything in this thing, man. All right, next up, we're going to talk about this right here. The Thrill Billy Mud Club. Now, first and foremost, we all know this thing looks incredible. The, the graphics look phenomenal. A lot of people were talking about this. It's most likely a cutscene because obviously it wouldn't be this wild. Just walk in there, I'm sure. I'm sure there's NPCs doing stuff, but not in this detail. Well, thanks to members of our community. What have you guys mentioned? This is a Mud Park Redneck Yacht Club, I believe it's called. But anyway, if you look right there, Thrill Billy Mud Club, you see that logo. And then you can see right there at the top, Redneck Mud Park. So instead of Hillbilly or Thrill Billy Mud Club, it is Redneck Mud Park. I mean, this guy could even be the guy from the trailer, to be completely honest with you. Other than the glasses that are different, they're wearing basically the same thing. But this is the first picture. We also have this picture right here, which again, you can see where the inspiration's coming from. Here's another picture right here, very similar to our girl that's in the trailer. Um, obviously, it doesn't have the American flag bikini on, though, but I think we do have some coming up with that. And here's some video. <laughs> So as you can see, this thing, you can see exactly where it's coming from. Because as soon as someone told me this is a real place, I looked it up and I found this and I'm like, yeah, I mean, they've absolutely nailed it. You've got the women in bikinis just hanging out, people getting stuck in the mud and just the wildest looking vehicles, man. Like, they, not going to lie, it looks like a lot of fun. I feel like you need a tetanus shot, though, because that <laughs> I feel like you're going to come out of there with something, man. Look at that mud. And they're just people in backs of trucks drinking. It, it looks exactly like I would... The trailer did it justice, man. This entire thing is exactly the same as it is in real life. And that is a redneck mud park. So... <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Okay, now something that I was hyper-focused on in this trailer is this right here. So if you look at this and zoom in, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but there was a plane that said 69 or Y69 when you can 919. And I was like, what the hell does that even mean? Am I missing a reference here? Well, it is based off of this nightclub right here, 11 in Miami. A lot of people that live in Miami or in Florida let me know about this in the comment sections. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. It's, it's promoting a nightclub. So obviously, the 919 is going to be the GTA version of this famous 11 nightclub. Now, what I'm assuming, and I, this is just me assuming, don't kill me, I'm just, this is just an assumption, is that it'll be a business that you can own, right? Maybe, yeah, maybe, right? You can have the, maybe you can own this nightclub and you, that image, the video we saw of that plane flying with the banner behind it, it's just like GTA 5 now, right? We have to fly the blimp around with our nightclub on the side of it. I think it's going to be the same thing with that. But also with this 11 Miami, this nightclub, as I was looking into it, this is also part of the same company, 11 Hotel and Residences in Miami. Now, this is a hotel that I heard of probably a year or two ago because it was all over the news for some reason that the Paul brothers both bought like penthouses there for like $20 million each or something. So I wonder if GTA 6 is going to have that connection. I wonder if it's just going to be a nightclub the 919 nightclub, or is it going to have the 919 residences as well? Who knows? Only time will tell about that. Don't, I don't know. I don't know. Don't kill me. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to come along with me on our virtual globe spotting right here. We're going to be going in, looking at all of these locations in real life. We're going to be sh showing you the area that this is based off of and just getting a better idea and picture of what this is going to look like. So first of all, we have this iconic scene right here from the trailer. This is the beach, and this I'm assuming is like the picture that they based this off of. Because as you can see, even from the way the beach is set up and the beach chairs, it looks almost identical. All right, and now, ladies and gentlemen, is where the fun begins. We're going to go virtual globetrotting and show you the exact locations. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so for this one, you can actually follow along at home if you would like to, but this is Google Earth right here, and we're going to be doing some virtual globetrotting here together today. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom on in right here. So this is where GTA 6 is going to be based off of Florida or Leonida or Leonada or Leonida. We don't know yet, but this is where it's based off of. Specifically, that city that we keep seeing, Vice City, is right down here 
which is obviously Miami. And here we are here in Miami. Now, before we actually get into this, I did want to mention, actually, mm, do I want to talk about it? Let's just zoom out a little bit. You can see how there's a lot of the Caribbean islands and things very close by. Some people were talking about, do you think you'd be able to go to Cuba, which is obviously this island right here. But even more so, we have the Bahamas right here. We have the Caribbean. So I think maybe it's like Cayo Perico where you'll have missions to fly there. Who knows? Just speculating right now. I'm just guessing. But uh, it's very close. So if anyone who isn't familiar with the United States and how close the, uh, the Bahamas and uh, Cuba is to actual Miami, they're right next to each other. You can literally take a boat from Miami to the Bahamas and it'll take you a couple hours. But anyway, that's not what we're about here. So let's come into Miami. So first and foremost, that picture we just looked at. Let's throw it up on screen again right here. Okay, now take it away. So this is going to be this location right here. I talked about this on my stream about how there's a place called Star Island where all the celebrities live. This is Star Island. Oh, there you can see Star Island. If we zoom in here, this is where I think, and again, I'm just assuming that when you buy property, just like you do now in GTA 5, you're probably going to be able to buy some really nice houses in this location right here. Not only that, look at this. We may be able to park our yachts right next to our house. Uh, but this is, again, this is Star Island. It is a gated community. Um, some beautiful houses. This one literally takes up this entire corner here. But I would assume this is 100% going to be in the game. But I'm getting too far on myself right here. So let's go back to this picture. This is Miami. This is Miami Beach. If we zoom in right here, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the exact view we got from the trailer let me turn my camera off right here and let's let's look at these things side by side so this is the view we've got like this is literally where the trailer came in right here this is it you can see if we put them side by side this building right here is this building you can see this long building here on the bottom is the same as this long building and this building with the yellow paint on it is this building this is the exact picture so now if we zoom out here again and tilt this down a little bit so we can't really see the water now a lot of people when they were watching this was like oh my god this city is massive which it is obviously but it can be a little deceiving from the trailer because obviously like the trailer right here you can't see any water right you can kind of see it in this location right here but what i think people thought was from the beach until the skyscrapers you can see in the background was all city it's not and just as like we can see here if we zoom out a little bit and change our angle you can see there is a lot of water in between right here which you don't see in the trailer but it is from this angle the trailer and it is obviously uh turned up like this so you can't really see that water so it looks like from here all the way to those city we can see in the background is all travelable, which it is, but there's obviously water in between. And not only is there going to be water in between, but Star Island is in between. Now let's look at this clip. Okay, so if we pause on this clip right here. So first of all, you can see there's a toll road down here. I don't know if there is one. We're going to check that right now. But you can see this is kind of like Star Island. You see the shape of this up here? Let's look and see if there is one that has a road, like a, a main road that goes straight the way through it. Because this is obviously not Star Island because the Star Island is by itself. But I do think this, or not this, I do think Star Island that we showed is going to be in this also. But let's see if we can find this exact space. But this shows you a better idea of the water at least in the middle. But because it's nighttime, people may not have realized it's the same place. Obviously, it's the same city, but you know what I'm saying. Let's show you. Okay, so once again, this is Star Island that I was talking about. And it would look like this right here is where we just saw that other one. You see how it's a main road right here that is going through it? But it also has like these houses that come off to the side. Again, let's take a look. So you can see right here is the road that goes through. And then there's this massive, uh, the houses. And you can see these are houses. There's literally yachts at the end of them. You can see the swimming pools. These are mansions around here on the side. There's a little island off here to the side. Let's see if we can see that. So you can see if we switch back and forth to these really quick, I think, well, let's see. Is there a toll road that comes into here anywhere? doesn't look like a lot of these buildings right here could be some of the buildings that we see obviously it's not going to be identical you got a bridge right here again these mansions that we can see right here you can literally see them down here you see that mansions all around the outside same thing mansions right here all around the outside and then as we get closer still no toll booth 
just a look at these houses man i've never been to miami i would love to go to miami oh here we bloody are was it coming in the opposite direction do we think let's have a look it could be we could be actually right now looking at it the wrong i think i think my brain has just had a break i can see it i think this over here i think this is star island maybe I th okay so let's switch so we are coming in from the wrong side i thought this was looking into the city but it looks like this is looking into the beach which would be from this angle right here so there is the um there's the what do i what have i brain farted already the toll booth i guess and here's this building on the left let's see there it is there it is day and night look at that so there's the toll booth right there in the middle you can see there's a building right there on the left and if we switch there it is the exact same thing there's the bloody toll booth there's the building look at that toll booth building toll booth building we have found the exact location and look at that you see what i see you see that little tennis court right there? What do we see right here? There's the tennis court. We have found the location, ladies and gentlemen. So it is obviously incredibly accurate. So let's see if there's anything else that's similar in this frame. So right here on the right-hand side, you can see it's almost like a car park with just a little bit of grass. And here, same thing. Exactly. Look at that. It is the exact... <laughs> same bloody thing the only difference is this one obviously you can see here there's like a, a building an apartment complex and in here there's not there's no building or apartment complex right here it's like a little park actually no this is it this is literally it look if i move my big fat head out the way so you can see this building is this building right here there it is there it is okay so now looking at it now we get a better idea let's move me actually up here so now that we're looking at it from this angle so we can see here it comes up and then this is where it kind of comes out right and there's the mansion but in here it's a smaller one in real life you can see it in the distance it's like they skip over this circle one and they go straight for these ones where you can see that these these houses as you can see right here let's move my big fat head out of the way again as you can see right up here we have the houses and it kind of like goes out right there same thing it may not have the three like we do here in real life but it definitely has at least one. So then we also see this island over here on the right. Let's see, is that there in real life? It is. So it's Flager Memorial Island. So it has, let's see if it has the memorial on it. Can't really, can't really see it in the game, but this is, I would assume, Memorial Island. It looks like you can right here. If I zoom in, there could be something right here. You see that? It's got like a point on it. I don't think it's a tree. I think that's the memorial. I think that is this thing right here. What do you guys think? I, I, th I think we're on something. But if that's the case, if that is Memorial Island, Star Island, which I was saying, is right next to it on the right-hand side, which you can't see. So I think on the right of this is where Star Island is. Because in, the tr in this right here, if you look right over here, you see there's a bridge here. You can barely see it, but there is a bridge right here. That is this bridge right here right you can barely see it if we flip think it is this bridge right here but that that would mean the this still could be there this still could be it. we may not can see it but this i'm hoping star island's there man that's crazy we bloody we, we we figured it out so then obviously this is the everglades but if we're talking about the everglades we have to zoom out here a little bit obviously just like gta 5 it's based off of the bigger uh, thing but this is the everglades man i mean you can it's massive the everglades in florida i mean it's massive so i mean this is basically where we are in this um <laughs> but i don't know where maybe somebody that knows more about the everglades than i do someone that lives in florida can like have a little bit more detail but that's where we're at now this, this is exciting. Let's see where this is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it didn't take me long. Bloody rain bolts. So it was step aside, rain bolt. Bloody subscribe for tacos is here. So here is the location in game. And here is it in real life. Look at that. We bloody found it. So you can see right here, this is the old like bridge that went over. And then you got the new one that I said, the trailer right here on the side. And then if we switch across, it is this exact one. You can see right here, this is the old one. How it is, uh, it's not really, I mean, it looks like it's being dissembled. Just like in the trailer right here, you can see down here on the front and back, there's nothing there. And then you can see this new one just to the left of it going over right here. So let's see, in the trailer, you got this building down here on the left. In real life, in real life, it would seem there's nothing really right there. But obviously, it's not going to be perfectly accurate. Um, but <laughs> listen, that's still pretty accurate. Okay, and on the other side, you got a little bit of land before there's another bridge. 
And someone said this is a blimp. It could be a blimp. It could be a satellite. Let's see what there is. Let's see what's there in real life. So there is more bridges. Obviously, there's no blimp or satellite. Uh, but you can see all the bridges right here. And then what do we got here? The quality of this neck of the woods over in the keys isn't as good on Google Earth. But you've just got some more keys, man. Little monkey key, little duck key, Missouri key. But it's Horseshoe Beach is where it is in real life. Beautiful. You can see where they're getting the colors from. And that bloody Florida water. And then here's that bridge in real life, as you can see. And there it is. You can see the bridge right here where my fat head is. Let me move me. This is where it is there. It's broken. And here's the new one. Look at that color of the water. Does it look familiar? That's because it should, because look at it right here. <laughs> and again, here's it in real life. And here it is in the game. So there it is. Now, we can obviously assume if this is the direction we're going in that trailer, what's down here? So this is just the Florida Keys. You're going to have much longer uh, bridges as well. I think they call it the Seven Mile Bridge, which is what this one is. Some people thought this was the bridge, but it's not. It's actually further back. Well, you guys just saw it with me in this location right here. But if you follow these bridges all the way down, you should get to, I think it's Key West, right? Like just to put it into perspective, Key West is going to be, I think, all the way down here. Yeah, Key West is down here. These are all the keys. These will, you know, these are all going to be in the game. This is where it, we're going to, not on this extent, but a much smaller version of it. So you can see, this is basically the Key West down here. And this right here is where we just were, where that little iconic bridge. And it's going to be, it's already an iconic bridge, but after this, it's going to be iconic even more for the younger generation that's never been to Miami. But yeah, this is it right here. And then that is going to head up to Florida, or to Miami, I should say. Obviously, it's not going to be this long of a journey, I wouldn't assume. But it looks like when you go up here, that's where we're going to get to, like, all of this. Like, kind of, maybe this is where the Everglades will be, from that Key West Bridge up until the city, which is right up here. All right, so we've talked about the Thrill Billy Mud Club already, but what does it look like in real life? Like, we've seen videos, but can we see it on the map? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Boom. So, wait, that's it's that's it. So this is the location. But if we zoom out, you can see. So this will show you how big and diverse this game is, right? Because where we just were is all the way down here. So this is the city. And where this mud park is that we've seen from the trailer, if we zoom out, it is all the way up here. So like the leaked footage that had this lake in it. Um, well, not leaked footage, but the, the map, the, the, the fan-made map had this lake in it. So obviously this mud park is going to be up here. So look at that difference. But that's still, we, we can assume there's going to be like this section as well, where there's going to be, um, what is this? It's, it's Tampa, right? This is Tampa, Florida. So there'll probably be another city on this side, but this is mud park. So it shows this field, but I would assume it's more so this right here. Here is mud park in real life, ladies and gentlemen. This is where all of this absolute madness happened. Here it is in real life. <laughs> Look at it. There's a lot of trails. It's uh, it's a real... I wonder if these, these places are going to get probably super popular. And these are some real life pictures of Mud Park. <laughs> We've already seen it, but this is from the actual location on Google Earth. What the bloody hell is that? Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, uh, this is it. This, I mean, there's no... I don't think anyone is questioning if this is it, Mud Park or not. This is definitely what we saw. Look at this person drinking. This is definitely what we saw in the trailer. 100%. There it is. Redneck Mud Park. The world's most... The world's most exciting off-road park. I wonder if they'll have this sign there too. Probably. All right. So from the park, we go back down to the city here. Now, this is 11. This is 11 nightclub that we were talking about. What the 919 is based off of. You can see right there the 11 sign. And there's also another club behind it by the looks of it. Club Space. I mean, I know there's a lot of nightclubs in uh, Miami. I didn't realize, well, it, it maybe it came to like Vegas. They're all very close to each other. But anyway, this is the location for that nightclub. And if we zoom out, you can kind of get an idea of where it is. So it's not going to be like near the beach that we saw. It's going to be closer to where the city is. So here's the nightclub. And then we have the massive city. And something that somebody pointed out is that in GTA 5, we have like five skyscrapers. Just from this picture alone of the city in the distance, you can see we have a lot of them. But anyway, so there's the 11 nightclub and let's see where the 11 like residences are. So there's the club and the residence is okay. It's actually right here, but it hasn't been built. This updated Google Earth, we don't, we can't see it, but this is where it is actually built. So it's probably a skyscraper right here in this location. 
So maybe it'll be maybe it'll be in the game, maybe it won't. Who the bloody hell knows, man? But anyway, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this little tour with me here today and just showing you the real life inspirations of everything in the GTA 6 trailer. Uh, if you have anything that I've missed, if you're from Miami or if you're from Florida, let us know in the comment section down below. Maybe I'll make a part two. But I'm obviously hyped for this. I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.